Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Probe Virtual College Fair. We are so excited to have you participating in this event this evening. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Stephanie, and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping notes for you. Just a quick reminder, your camera and microphone are off, so our presenters cannot see or hear you. Uh, but you can use the Q&A feature um, at any point to type your questions to our presenters. Um, and then this is the last se session of um, fairs happening this evening. This presentation is being recorded and will be available later as well at strivescan.com slash P-R-O-B-E. And I would like to now turn it over to our first presenter. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Sorry, I had to get my screen set up here. Um, so my name is Keely and I am the representative from the University of North Georgia. So a little bit about the University of North Georgia. So we actually have five campuses that make up our university. Um, we have Blue Ridge, Cumming, Dahlonega, Gainesville, and Oconee. Um, Dahlonega is going to be typically our main campus only because that is actually where we have both on-campus housing and our Corps of Cadets. Um, we are a senior military College or one of the top six um, in the United States. We are also the number one most affordable out of all the senior military colleges. We also have over 20,000 students and we do offer both bachelor's and associate programs. Bachelor's is only going to be um, on our Dahlonega and our Gainesville campus. Um, and then all of our other campuses are going to offer our associate programs. Like I said, we do have our Corps of Cadets and they are actually a separate admissions office from us. So if you are interested in the Corps of Cadets, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a really great way to get leadership experience. You also get a ton of scholarships. A lot of our cadets go to college for literally next to nothing if they pay anything at all. You do not have to commission post-graduation, um, but it is an option if you are looking to commission. Um, we actually offer a U.S. Army track. You're actually able to graduate as a second lieutenant straight out of college, which is really exciting. Um, and a lot of our cadets are also over other cadets as they move through the ranks. Um, we usually have our cadet recruiters help you through the admissions process. So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to them. That is what they are there for. I also like to share our top five most popular majors. So that is going to be biology slash pre-med, business management, business marketing, psychology, and nursing. We also have one of the top cybersecurity programs in the state as well. Um, it's really popular, especially with our internships through the NSA. We also have a couple of dated programs. So that would be nursing, business, education, and kinesiology. That just means that you take some prereqs your first couple of years, and then you apply to that nursing program or that business program or that education program, and then you get accepted to the program and then finish out your degree. It leads to a lot of great employment opportunities post-graduation, um, and we do have some of the best programs in the state, so we definitely make sure that you have a quality education at an affordable price. I always like to share our bachelor's freshman profile. So this is going to be a breakdown of our average GPA, SAT, um, and ACT scores, as well as how to apply here at the bottom. Our application is located on Georgia Futures. You can also send your high school transcripts through Georgia Futures, or you can request it from your counselor. You send your SAT or ACT scores off of their respective websites. And then the last thing we need is just a really long way of saying that we need a picture of your driver's license, your birth certificate, or your passport, you can email that to any one of us and we will make sure that we get it to the right spot. Um, as you're going through, you will see our um, minimums on our website as well. So we always say minimums don't guarantee admission. So that's why this bachelor's freshman profile is your best friend. It's exactly what we're looking for in terms of admission. It helps give you a better gauge of just what we are looking for. This is also gonna be for our associate program. So for our two year programs, we call it Pathway Plus. If you are not sure what you wanna major in, you're looking to save some money, um, or you're really just kind of trying to get your feet wet in terms of college, that is why we have associate programs there for you. You're taking those same general education courses at a cheaper rate, um, and you actually just have to meet our minimums as opposed to our bachelor's profile where minimums don't guarantee admission these minimums do. So if you do have that 2.0 GPA and your SAT and ACT scores meet these minimums, you are all good to go. Like I said, these classes are at a cheaper rate. So if you are looking to save some money, you can do your freshman year as an associate student and then switch over to a bachelor student and finish out your degree. 
we make sure that we get you well prepared for college and really give you that first year to acclimate, um, make sure that you have all the resources available to you to make sure that you have a successful rest of your time in college. So that is all that I have for you all. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I am your admissions counselor from the University of North Georgia. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and I will turn it over to our next presenter. Hi everyone, I'm going to take one second to share my screen. All right, well, thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Bauer, and I am the Director for Southeast Recruiting for DePaul University. And during the next six minutes, I'm going to talk to you about finding your goal within at DePaul. So a little bit about who we are. We are um, an undergraduate liberal arts university and we're located in Greencastle, Indiana, um, which is close to in Indianapolis. We're just under 2000 students. Our, our maximum class size would be, our maximum population would be 2000 students. And our incoming classes are usually between 550 and 600 students. At DePaul, we have a college of liberal arts and we also have a school of music. And um, some neat fun facts about what you will find on campus is students from 38 different states, 35 different countries. We have 14% of our student population are legacy students whose parents or grandparents attended DePaul. But on the flip side of that, we have 22% first generation students. So for a small campus, um, we basically have people from all over and all different backgrounds. Within our College of Liberal Arts, we have 49 majors and 56 different minors. And a lot of these can be mixed and mashed, mixed and mashed up. Um, you could actually even create your own degree if you would like to. Some of our popular degrees are economics, communication, anything in the sciences. A lot of our students are on a pre-med track. Um, we are only undergraduate, so you're, you will have a lot of opportunities for research and lab work um, right from day one at DePauw. Within our School of Music, we have performance and music education tracks, but we also have the ability for students to combine a liberal arts major with a music major too. So lots of great synergy between the two schools. So what will you get from DePauw? Um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of different things you'll achieve as a DePauw student. The first one is you'll achieve access. Uh, we're only undergraduate and we're small. So you have great access to faculty advising, small classes, we don't have TAs. Every class is taught by um, a fully degreed professor. You'll have access to research and internships. As I mentioned, from day one, you can get in the lab with your professors. Um, almost all of our students do an internship. And we also have um, an excellent alumni base, 35,000 alumni working at some of the top companies in the nation who are very willing to help students get a, a foot in the door. You'll develop leadership skills at DePauw. We have lots of opportunities to grow outside the classroom, everything from Greek life to D3 athletics to student organizations. A big part of the DePauw experience is learning outside the classroom and developing leadership skills. And also global citizenship. So we, um, our students love to study abroad. We're ranked number four in the nation for school sending students abroad. And um, we go to more than a hundred different companies countries on approved programs, but there's also, if you find a program you love, we'll find a way to help you match that with your degree track and get the credits that you need while you're studying abroad. If you don't wanna go overseas, no problem, because we will bring the global community to you. Every year we bring speakers to campus in, in def, different disciplines from politics to the arts um, with a global influence. So from different countries or people that are making changes globally in the world. Why does all this matter? Well, I'm gonna point out, these are some of our circles that we're proud of, and I'm gonna point out some, um, some, some really neat fun facts about DePaul. 97% um, of our students have a job when they graduate, uh, which is huge because that's why you come to college. We have a 90% med school acceptance rate and an 80% law school acceptance rate. 84% of our students do internships, and we are listed as a top seven college um, and university as far as lifetime earnings go. So we are um, setting up our students for success. 
And this is something we just put together and love to share with students. This is what we look for in applicants and um, what our student body is all about. So curious students who are driven intellectually, have um, a social responsibility and are active and motivated. Those are the best matches for our campus. If you are interested in applying to DePa, um, we are on the Common App. We're test optional. We've been test optional for a couple of years. Uh, if you do have a great test score, it can enhance your merit money, but it won't hurt you at all. What's important to us is your transcript. We like to see strong classes, a challenging curriculum that you're taking, maybe some honors in AP or IB, high, le high, high level classes. Um, A's and B's on your transcript are always a good thing, but we understand that you might have had a C or a D in a class and just make sure to explain that to us in your application. So we could um, take a look at you holistically and your whole body of academics. Campus visits are great, but we know in COVID they might be hard. So just connecting with us virtually is perfectly fine to show affinity to DePa. Um, we take a look at your senior year, your activities, your letters of recommendation, and um, we do look at you very holistically. So all of that will go into our admission decisions and also your scholarship award. Here's my contact information. Um, you can take a quick screenshot of that or jot down my information, take a photo of this, or I will put my information in the chat box too. But I um, am based in the South and I um, will be traveling in all the different states for the remainder of the fall. Looking forward to meeting with students in person or virtually. Thank you for your time. Hi, and welcome to the University of Oregon presentation. Uh, my name is Jing Shi. I am uh, your admissions counselor. So anytime you have questions, I am the point contact. We are located in Eugene, Oregon. Um, so for those of you that aren't familiar with the area, we're right in between Washington and California, just about three hours north and south. Uh, and we are in city of Eugene, the, what we're also known for Track Town USA. This past summer, we hosted the fourth consecutive Olympic trial for track and field. And then next year will be the first to host the world championship for uh, track and field in all of North America. So that is very exciting news for not only our student athletes, but then also our students who are looking for those additional internships. Um, if you are in marketing, uh, in business, maybe athletic trainings, so you're going to have um, hands-on experience working with um, world-class um, Olympians basically on our campus. Um, what our students really like about our location is that we're pretty centrally located. We are a very uh, a green state in terms of being in the outdoors, only about an hour away from the Cascade Mountains and then also about an hour away from the Pacific Ocean. So you can go skiing, snowboarding, um, kayaking, paddle boarding, float down the Willamette Mackenzie River, go surfing all in one day. Overall, we are considered a medium sized university. We have just under 23,000 students. And the, the nice thing about being a medium sized university is that you have the best of both world. Um, you know, you do have what we call, the, um, you have uh, over 160 programs to choose from in terms of academic majors and minors, uh, certificate programs, but you also have um, our class sizes are comparable to most of the high schools um, that I meet here. And so our medium class size is only 20 with the student to teacher ratio of 17 to one. And we are a, a quarter system university. So we um, typically don't start school until the end of September. Uh, that will be for fall quarter. Then we have winter, spring. Summer term is optional. If you take um, an average of four classes each term, you will be set to graduate in four years without ever to take a summer term. And so for students wanting to graduate a little bit earlier than that, then they do take a uh, stick around for summer and take those additional credits. But a lot of our students will take um, advantage of the long three months of summer and they will go study abroad, get an internship, get a job, or maybe go home and uh, spend some time with the families. But having a three month summer is a really big advantage for some of our students. 
um, then you do have a lot of students coming from the Southeast as well. Uh, I am the admissions counselor for pretty much all of the Southeast. And I do see a big growth of students specifically coming from Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Florida. So you will not be the only person coming from Georgia. These are some of our top, most popular majors. Uh, they are in alphabetical order. So advertising is not more popular than business or psychology. Um, and none of these majors, none of our majors are impacted. Uh, what that means is that we do not have a cap at how many people we admit to computer science or economics or psychology. And no matter what you choose on your application, um, there you will not be put at a, at a disadvantage. So even if you're undecided, which is our version of uh, exploring, you will still have an academic uh, advisor to work with you all four years. But at the very first time, you will figure out what are your graduation plans? What are your goals? Are you looking to get an internship or go study abroad during your time here? And that way we can help you figure out a schedule that works best for you. Why do University of Oregon? Um, I, I love the University of Oregon for many reasons. Um, it's a reason why I attended and graduated from the U of O many years ago. Um, but a lot of students really like that they, we have, again, like that best of overall of going to a larger institution, but still have that smaller class sizes. Uh, about 74% of our students are engaged in research activities. Um, so we are in the AAU, the Association of American Universities. Uh, it means that we are in that um, tier one um, percent on research where we are ranked for academic research and, um, and studies for our undergraduate students as well. Um, especially if you are thinking about going to grad school, medical school, law school, having research um, in, as an undergrad student will definitely add to your competitive advantage. We do offer a clock honors college um, that offers students the idea and courses of with other students who are in that same academic focus. If you like taking AP, IV honor classes and you like to challenge yourself a little bit more academically, um, the Clock Honors College may be a really good option for you. Again, it is an add-on experience. So any major you choose will uh, allow you to be a part of the Clock Honors College. Um, one out of four study one out of four students will go study abroad during their time here at the University of Oregon. Um, we have 300 different programs to choose from. One of the most popular ones is the pre-freshman study program in London. It's a four-week program that you uh, go to London, you get nine credits, it will apply to every single major here before you even start your first term at the University of Oregon. Again, that's the pre-freshman studies program, but we have so many other programs that you may look into and your, your financial aid scholarship package will follow wherever you go. So it's a really um, great experience for you to gain exposures to um, the different parts of the world, maybe in the country um, for you. And here is my contact information. Uh, if you want to stay in touch with me, it's a QR code you can scan and it takes about 20 seconds to fill out. All right, hello everyone. I unfortunately don't have a really nice presentation like everyone, so I'm just gonna talk everyone's head off. Um, I'm Biani. Um, I represent, I'm a representative from LaGrange College. I'm one of our admissions counselors. Um, LaGrange College is only about an hour south of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, also about an hour from Auburn University, if anyone knows where that is, a little bit more familiar. Um, so just a little bit about LaGrange College, we offer or we average about a thousand students a year. Um, average student to teacher ratio is 11 to 1. So pretty small class sizes. It does one depend on your major, also to your student classification. Um, I personally was a student at the college. Um, on one end, the biggest class size I ever had was about 50 students. On the other end, smallest class I ever had was to students and a professor, including myself. Um, aside from that, um, we also have, 
aside from our majors and minors, um, we also offer a couple of pre-professional programs, which is just an add-on to our majors. Um, these pre-professional programs are mostly in the medical field. So like pre-med, pre-vet, um, pre-physician assistant, pre-physical therapy, occupational therapy. Um, we have some in pre-seminary as well as pre-law. Um, these pre-professional programs offer additional internships as well as additional advising for any students that are interested in one of those, um, I guess, concentrations. Um, prepping everyone for grad school, a little bit more med school, whatever it may be, PT school. Um, so yeah, um, our application is free. It is open as well. Um, our minimum, as far as our requirements go, are it's a minimum of a 3.0 academic GPA. Um, we are test optional this year, so we're not requiring SAT or ACT scores. Um, also, for any incoming freshmen, um, we do have over a $2,000 voucher for our incoming freshmen um, that they could use to study abroad with LaGrange College their junior or senior year. Um, we have gone anywhere from a couple places in Europe. Um, when I was a student, I personally went to the Philippines. We've gone to Thailand. Um, we've gone to Latin America, so like Mexico, um, Ecuador, Costa Rica, a um, whole bunch of other places, to be honest, as well. Um, aside from that, 85% um, of all graduating seniors already have either a job offer grad school acceptance or any kind of professional internship before they even graduate. That percentage only goes up after graduation as well. And um, we are open for weekday and weekend visits also. Um, weekdays are a little bit more personalized to you, personal, um, more private, um, more one-on-one -on -one time with like faculty and admission counselor, um, coaches if anyone's an athlete. Um, and then our weekend dates, um, we have about once a month one a month. Um, we do have more faculty available as well for anyone that's more undecided about a major, um, have more possibilities for asking questions about specific majors and minors, um, pre-professional programs, um, grad school career goals with faculty, um, which is a really nice little thing that we do for our students. Aside for, um, from that, um, if anyone has any questions, y'all are more than welcome to let me know. I'll be adding my contact information in the chat box. Yeah, thank y'all. All right. Good evening, everybody. I think it's my turn. I'm Drew Todd with Southern Crescent Technical College, and I'm going to share my screen uh, and show you my PowerPoint here, um, just so I can be reminded of everything that I want to talk about. But um, like I said before, I'm with Southern Crescent Technical College. We are part of the technical college system of Georgia. There are 22 schools within that technical college system, and we serve the state of Georgia with workforce training needs. Our mission is to provide all of the students in our service area with workforce training. Um, we provide programs up to the two-year associate degree level, and I'll talk about that a little bit more as we go along, but all the programs at technical colleges in Georgia are two years or less in length. Most of them are designed for you to complete them, uh, learn the skills that you need for the occupation that you've chosen, leave our classroom, go to work in that field. Um, so you learn the skills you need for your chosen profession. We serve eight counties for the state of Georgia at Southern Crescent Tech on the south side of Atlanta. These are those eight counties that we serve. The other technical colleges, if you're a student that's not within these eight counties, you have a technical college that serves you in just the way that I'm going to talk about during the presentation tonight. So know that what I mentioned tonight, if you're not in one of these eight counties, you probably are aware of the technical college in your area, but if you're not, there is one certainly that serves you, and I'll put my contact information in the chat. You can email me, and I can connect you with a representative there, but if you live in one of these eight counties, it's our mission to provide you with technical education. We have two campuses and three centers. The campuses are where pretty much any program that we offer is going to be available. The centers are more focused in what they offer. Uh, so far as where they're located, the programs that are offered there are going to really focus on those counties where they're located. The different types of credentials, I always tell students while you're in high school, your first goal or your goal is to become employable and marketable in the workforce. That high school diploma is that initial credential that you're, you'll get. 
Um, but in today's workforce, you need more than just a high school diploma for most of the jobs that are out there. The types of credentials that you can add on to that diploma at the technical college system are certificates, take one or two semesters to complete. Diplomas take about 15 to 18 months and associate degrees that take about two years. One is not necessarily better than the other. It just depends on what job you're interested in and what level of education is required for you to get that job. I always encourage students to look at what you're good at, the types of things you're interested in, find the career that matches up with those skills and interests, and then fill in the level of education that's required for that career. Because if you're good at something and you like to do it and you find a career that matches up with it, then chances are you're going to be successful. That's going to help you be happy when you're at work, but also it's probably going to help with your earnings potential when you're at work too. The types of programs that we offer at the Technical College, I've got, these are headings that are listed here. These with inside of each of these headings are dozens and dozens of programs. Just for example, in Allied Health, we have RN, LPN, CNA, respiratory therapy, medical assisting, and many others. Uh, I'd encourage you to go to the website that's listed there, click programs, and you can take a look since we have limited time tonight. Um, but you can see all the different things that we offer again, two years or less in length. Now, why do we offer these types of programs? It's because our mission is to serve the citizens of Georgia, and business industry stakeholders in our eight county service area. I have some of them listed here. Our goal is for any employer in our area who needs workers, for us to provide programs that provide the skills and training that those workers need to fill those jobs that are open. But we also work with school systems to do things like dual enrollment. If there are programs that they're unable to offer in the schools, career tech programs, academic core classes that students can take as dual enrollees, we're there to offer them be partners with them so that those students can be successful and fill that gap in the workforce. Our application process is, is extremely straightforward. All you have to do is submit an application. You can do it online. It's a $25 application fee. Official transcripts, we'll get your high school transcript in um, and we can get you admitted. We'll use test scores for placement. Right now, we actually, just like the other colleges, can be test optional. We can use your high school GPA for placement and exempt remediation for you if needed. If you don't meet our minimum GPA requirement to exempt remedial coursework, you send those test scores in. We determine if you need to be in remedial classes, but you can be admitted no matter what if you've graduated from high school because we are an access institution as a technical college system at Georgia School. Proof of citizenship, typically a driver's license if you've had it long enough. If not, we have some other items that you can turn in. And then of course, apply for financial aid. Once you turn these items in, you can meet with an advisor and make a schedule. This is my contact information. Again, I'm going to put it in the chat bar just so that you'll have it. Um, I'll put my email out there. I'd love to touch base with anybody that's interested. Now, I've talked a lot about the workforce programs that we have. I do want to leave you with a couple of things. The Technical College System of Georgia also provides 28 academic core classes that are guaranteed to transfer into any university system of Georgia school. So if you're a student who wants to start locally, take your core academic classes that are going to be the same or very similar wherever you start school if you decide to stay in state and go to a university system a georgia school like valdosta uga georgia southern university of north georgia what have you you could actually if you live in one of those eight counties um, start at southern crescent tech take your english 1101 your u.s history your government your college algebra you can take those your first year or two and then transfer out to your chosen institution for your four-year degree so if your chosen career requires two years or less you can go with us finish go out into the workforce if your chosen career requires a four-year degree, you can start with us, transfer, and still get out into the workforce for that career that does require a four-year degree. The last thing I'll leave you with, and I'm going to try to stop sharing if I can, um, is just to encourage you all to go out and see these schools. Uh, like uh, DePaul said, uh, with COVID, it might be difficult for you to get on campus. Uh, most of the schools are, are definitely willing to give you a tour, but if you can't get somewhere for a tour, whether it's because of COVID or because of geographic proximity, I would encourage you all to do that. See what these schools have to offer on campus so that you can really make an informed decision. And even if you can't get there, we can do something virtually for you too at Southern Crescent and all these other colleges. So just reach out to any of us. We'll be glad to hear from you and help you and uh, look forward to working with you beyond this evening. Thanks. Hi, let me just get my screen shared real, really quickly. All right, good evening. My name is Johnny Connor and I'm an admissions counselor at Gardner-Webb University. Um, so Gardner-Webb is a small private Christian university in Boiling Springs, North Carolina, 
So if you've never heard of Boiling Springs, we are an hour away from Asheville and an hour away from Charlotte, North Carolina. So think right at the base of um, the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. It's a really beautiful area. We are a one stop light town. However, we do have Chick-fil-A on campus and just because we do have one stoplight does not mean there are things to do. Um, so we are um, a division one school. We are in the Big South Conference. We have 22 division one teams, 11 men's and 11 women's teams. Um, some of our popular majors include nursing, exercise science, business, biology, psychology, and several others. Um, nursing is one of our most popular ones, um, and a testament to that is that we do have a 100% uh, pass rate on the NCLEX, and if you don't know what that is, that's a test you have to take, um, you know, to become a registered nurse. So we do um, offer, you know, in-person, um, hands-on instruction to help you to help you where, wherever you really want to go. Um, so we do offer several pre-professional pathways like pre-med, pre-law. Um, we also have um, a physician's assistant um, program on campus. I never can say that word, but we also offer a pathway um, for several things, also pre-seminary. Um, so because we are small, we have a 13 to one faculty ratio. Classes really will cap out around 25 students. So you are getting to know your professors, the people in your classes. Um, this can be good or good or bad if you miss class because your professor will call you. Um, so, you know, they really are getting to know you and they come to love you and just get to know you. And it's it's really a family atmosphere here. It's not just for four years, it's really for life. Um, so just kind of jumping into some financial aid and cost. So the FAFSA, I'm sure um, a lot of your guidance counselors, school counselors have talked to you about the FAFSA, and this is just a really great way to get free money from your state, from the federal government. Um, so at Gardner-Webb, we do offer um, uh, two main scholarships, and I just want to highlight those. So we offer one full ride scholarship, and that is the Tucker Heart, Soul, Mind, and Strength Scholarship. And this is a full ride based on character. Um, you, sub you get nominated, and then you submit an application. Um, and then for Ignite Excellence, this goes to eight students, and this is a full tuition based on academics. So this is where test, or, uh, test scores could help. Um, so, and just for the next steps for applying, it's how so common app or gardnerweb.edu and when is the end of your junior year beginning of your senior year and that's really as soon as possible and what to expect it's free there's no essay requirement and test scores are optional um, but again they can't hurt you just to, when applying for more competitive scholarships um, so again you know, it's free, there's no essay requirement, so that's really nice. We also have rolling admissions, so some schools, they may have early action, so that's when you would apply by a certain date and commit to them, but you can apply pretty much whenever here, right before um, the fall, so, uh, fall semester starts, and we can get new admissions decision, but if you would like to connect um, with me, my name is Johnny Connor, and this is my email right down here and my direct phone number, or you can scan this nifty QR code um, and learn more about us, and we would love to learn more about y'all. Right. That is all I have. Let me stop sharing. Awesome. Thank you to all of our institutions who have presented this evening. Um, it looks like we have about 10 minutes left in our session together. So um, we're going to do just a little bit of a Q&A um, to wrap up our time together. So if all of our presenters wouldn't mind coming back on camera. Um, I will pose a question and we'll just go in the same order that everyone presented in for responses. So our first question that we're going to start with is what is one piece of advice you would offer to someone going through the college search process? Yeah, so my piece of advice, and I'm a little bit partial because I was a college tour guide, um, so I'm a little bit partial to the campus visits, but whether it is virtually or in person, I highly recommend exploring campuses. Um, I also recommend, if you can, really immersing yourself in campus and doing it, as strange as it sounds, on a weekday, because that just gives you the best feel of the campus. You get to see what campus is like on a normal, average day, how many students are out 
out um, and really take advantage of your tour guides. They are current students. So they are you just a little bit in the future. So definitely go through, ask them all the questions, um, bug us, your admissions counselors about all the questions um, because we always love to help, but definitely take a tour. That is always my number one recommendation. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of build on that um, answer, which was awesome, is to connect with us. So if you're visiting campus or, or um, doing a virtual tour, make sure to connect with your admission counselor. We love to hear from you. We, we love to brag about our campuses and what we have to offer, offer you tips and advice and encouragement and answer any of your questions. So we're eager to hear from you and see your application. So don't be frightened to connect with us. We're actually super friendly. <laughs> Adding on even more, um, definitely take advantage of any like campus stays that they might offer because who knows, um, some of these like bigger group events too, you may come across a roommate, your future roommate and whatnot too, or your future friends. Who knows? I would say take it one step at a time. Um, it sounds like a very nerve wracking and stressful and scary process, but it's not. We on the other side are very excited for you. Um, we're very easy to get a hold of and um, don't worry so much about like housing and like registering for classes and all of that for now. Just enjoy the process, take it one step at a time, just work with us and uh, we're going to be able to get you there where you need to be. So I kind of touched on my advice during my presentation, but as somebody who has a degree in history and then went ahead and got a master's in history too, I wish somebody would have told me, what are you really interested in doing for a career? Um, and I would have probably thought more uh, intentionally about the type of program I would have done as a college student. So I think it's really important to think about not just the next four years, but the next 44 years and what are you going to do after you get out of college and the types of college programs that fit the career that you want to have um, because when you get a degree in history there's not really any kind of career that's waiting for you once you finish on the other side so i've been fortunate but i wish somebody would have talked to me about that before i started My uh, my advice is very similar to everyone. Uh, what has been said tonight, um, I would really say rely on your admissions counselors. We're here to we're here for you. We're, we are your resources. If it's for academics, for coaching, just about the college process in general, if you just need to run questions by someone or, you know, do you have this major? Can I make this work? Is this the right path for me? But also come visit campus, come visit campus a lot. Make a list of the schools that you want to go to and come visit. Come like um, I think I think Keely from um, North Georgia said, you know, come on a weekday, come on a weekday. If you know the major that you want to, you know, that you want to be a part of, try to contact your admissions counselor and see if that if we could set up, a, you know, where you can come and shadow a class and understand how students are responding, how the professors teach. So that way you are seeing one on one instruction in person. It's not just, okay, this is what we are, you know, we're promoting at our school, but also, you know, what you can really see in person. But that's it. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Those are great answers. So let's do one more. Promise it'll be the last one. Um, what is one thing that you want students to remember about your institution? Yeah, so we always say, especially for UNG, that we have something for everyone um, and we truly mean it, especially offering both associates and bachelors. We try to meet you where you are. You don't have to be the perfect student. You don't have to have the 4.0, the high test scores. Obviously, we love when you do, but it is okay if you don't. It's also okay to like not know what you want to major in. We offer so many different things and such a wide variety of things um, that we really make sure that we prepare you wherever you are. We will meet you where you're at. Um, people also know us as a senior military college, but that is not all that we are. They only make up 8% of our student population. So I promise you don't have to join the Corps of Cadets if you come to UNG. Um, it's just one of the many great things that we offer. So definitely just something to take away. 
At Tapa, we like for people to think we're far away, we're in Indiana, but we're warm and welcoming and we love to have students from the South come and join us on campus. Uh, we we kind of, um, our, our campus is very global and liberal arts mindset. So if that's something that's attractive to you, we would love to have you on our campus. For LaGrange College, I definitely feel like it's it's going to be a home away from home, as most other places are. Um, we're a lot smaller, but like you're never going to walk across campus and not see a familiar face, a friendly face, someone to smile. Um, even if you don't know them, they know of you, funny enough. Um, it, yeah, like again, home away from home. It's definitely our own little community um, within, an, within its own community itself, too. Um, I love the phrase, once a duck, always a duck. Uh, you'll hear that very, it's very common. Uh, one thing is that no matter what year you graduated or what you study, once a duck, it's always a duck. Um, and that really speaks to our alumni across the country, across the world. Um, people, ducks love to hire ducks. And I've been here eight years now, uh, attended, graduated from the University of Oregon, I worked here for four years now, and I have not met anybody that went to the U of O had a negative experience. So our student pride uh, is unparalleled. We really do support our ducks on and off the field. So one thing that I heard um, our college president say once is that we're your technical college. And I mentioned in my presentation that we have this service area model where we, are basically owned by those eight counties. We are taxpayer funded by the state of Georgia. And so it's our mission, our goal to serve the people in each of our service areas. I know there may be people on tonight that aren't part of Southern Crescent service area. So just know that we're your technical college. Everybody that works there is there and is paid to serve you as a, as a Georgia citizen. And, um, and anything that you need, we're there to take care of it and make sure you get it, whether it's to start with us, finish with us, go out in the workforce, Course, whether it's to start with us, transfer somewhere else, we're there to serve you. We're your technical college. If there's one thing I could leave with y'all tonight about Barker Webb is that this is a place where you're going to grow spiritually, mentally, physically, it, in the most holistic way as possible, just not in certain components of your own life. We are here to propel you into whatever you want to do with your life, but it's not just four years. It's really you're going to be supported after you graduate. Our alumni network is going to help you find jobs and help you get into grad school and really be this net for you and be this community. And again, like a lot of these institutions are saying a home, you know, this will be a home that will, will be here for you. So, thank you. Awesome, wonderful. Um, thank you so much once again to everyone for joining us this evening, students, families, attendees, and of course, all of our presenters. Um, thank you so much. Um, students, families, attendees, when you close this window, um, just a, a little note, there will be a link to a very, very quick, I promise, five question survey. Um, if you'd be willing to provide any feedback for us, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, and then you will be able to find this session's recording as well as any other session recordings at strivescan.com slash P-R-O-B-E. Thank you one more time, all of our presenters, you did fantastic. And to our students, families, and attendees, we wish you absolutely all the best of luck in your college search process. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. <laughs>